वेलकम टू अन अकेडमी एस एंड यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग एम एस क्यूसॉन लीनियर आलजिब्रा विच आई हैव शेयर्ड इन टेलीग्राम चैनल ऑन ट्वेल्थ एंड थर्टींथ एम एस क्यूस ऑन लीनियर आलजिब्रा First of all, consider the following matrix. A three cross three matrix is provided. Then, which of the following is true? Matrix A is involutory. Eigenvalues of the matrix are minus three, minus three, five. The algebraic multiplicity of minus three is three, and the algebraic multiplicity of minus three is two. Now. first we have to find characteristic equation of the matrix to get eigen values matrix a is minus 2 2 minus 3 6 minus 1 minus 2 0 now first the characteristic equation is determinant of a minus lambda equal to 0 so determinant of Minus two minus lambda, two minus three, two one minus lambda minus six, minus one minus two zero minus lambda equal to zero. Now we have to expand determinant. Minus two minus lambda of One minus lambda into minus lambda. Minus twelve. Second term. Minus two of. Minus two of. Minus two lambda minus six. Minus three of minus four plus one minus lambda equal to zero. Now continuation minus two minus lambda of minus lambda plus lambda square minus twelve. Plus four lambda plus twelve plus three four is twelve minus three plus three lambda equal to zero. Now continuation two lambda minus two lambda square plus twenty four plus Lambda square minus lambda cube plus twelve lambda twelve plus twelve twenty four minus three twenty one four lambda plus three lambda seven lambda equal to zero. Simplifying this minus lambda cube minus two lambda square plus lambda square minus lambda square. 
Now here, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 7, 21 lambda. 24 plus 21, 45. So plus 45 equal to 0. From this, you can write lambda q plus lambda square minus 21 lambda minus 45. equal to 0. We have to find out the roots. So this can be written as lambda minus 5 into lambda square plus 6 lambda plus 9 equal to 0. Therefore lambda equal to 5. So lambda square plus 6 lambda plus 9 is lambda plus 3 whole square that's why minus 3 comma minus 3. Now, so the eigenvalues are 5 minus 3 minus 3. Now, now, problem is designed on algebraic multiplicity and so here algebraic multiplicity is nothing but how many times an eigenvalue is repeated. Algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalue minus 3 is 2. Why? Because minus 3 is repeated 2 times. 2 times. So any eigenvalue is repeated m times. So, its algebraic multiplicity is m. How many number of times an eigenvalue is repeated is known as algebraic multiplicity. Therefore, here, minus 3 is repeated 2 times. Therefore, algebraic multiplicity is 2. Now, when you come to the options, here, eigenvalues are minus 3, minus 3, 5. So, option B is correct. Next, algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalue minus 3 is 2 in last option. Algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalue minus 3 is 3 in third option. So, here algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalue minus 3 is 2. That's why last option is also correct. So, B and D are correct. Next, I have to examine option A whether so this is true this is false this is true uh, now i have to check whether matrix is involutory or not you can check very easily matrix is involutory means a square equal to i a square equal to i is called involutory matrix now i am going to verify a square value a square is nothing but a into a here matrix a is minus 2 2 3 minus 2 2 3 minus 2 2 minus 3 next 2 1 minus 6 minus 1 minus 2 0 uh, multiply with minus 2 2 minus 3 2 1 minus 6 minus 1 minus 2 0 now multiply if you multiply a with a here, first row multiplied with first column. Minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4. 4. 2 into 2, 4 plus 4. Minus 3 into minus 1 plus 3. So here you are getting 11. So when you can say a matrix is involutory, if a square equal to i, 
you can say involutory. So here first entry one one entry is one one entry is eleven. It is not equal to one. So it is not an identity matrix. So you can confirm that a square is not equal to i. A square is not equal to i. Therefore a is not involutory. Therefore, first option is incorrect. First option is false. So here, second option is true and last option is also true. So answer is only B and D. These two options are correct. Understood? Good evening Rajan. Good evening Mohammad. Good evening everyone. Uh, this is MSQ. First problem. Here I have not solved completely involutory condition because by verifying one one element, only one element, we found that it is not an identity matrix. That's why by observing only one entry, I found that matrix is not involutory. That's why I have eliminated first option directly. Right? Uh, next problem. Here, second problem, matrix N cross N is a complex matrix, complex matrix satisfying the condition A power K equal to I. Here I is an identity matrix where K is any positive integer which is greater than 1. Suppose 1 is not an eigenvalue of A. Suppose 1 is not an eigenvalue of A. This is keyword. This is keyword. Then, which of the following statements are necessarily true? Which of the following statements are necessarily true? First option. Matrix A is diagonalizable. First option is matrix A is diagonalizable. Second option is A plus A square plus and so on A power K minus 1 is 0. Third option trace of A, trace of A square plus and so on, trace of A power K minus 1 is minus N. Okay. Now main condition is A power K equal to I a power k equal to i another condition is one is not an eigenvalue of a with the help of these two points we can solve this problem very easily it is concept based question observe i am writing three points here three points here first point Given that 1 is not an eigenvalue of matrix A, it is not my assumption, it is given in the data. Given that 1 is not an eigenvalue of A, therefore, we have one conclusion. What is that? A is not equal to identity matrix. A is not equal to identity matrix. Since 1 is not an eigenvalue of A, therefore, we can understand that the given matrix is not an identity matrix, not an unit matrix. That is first point. Next, second point.
any matrix is diagonalizable a matrix is diagonalizable A matrix is diagonalizable if its minimal if its minimal polynomial if its minimal polynomial is product of product of distinct distinct linear factors sir when minimal polynomial will be product of distinct linear factors it is possible when your matrix has distinct eigen values so whether your matrix has distinct eigen values or not we have to identify so here he has provided one equation that is my third point observe here given that given that a power k equal to i that's why i am going to write x power k equal to 1 given that given that a power k is equal to i for some positive integer k therefore I am writing x power k equal to 1. Therefore, x power k or lambda power k equal to 1. Therefore, I can write lambda power k equal to 1. Now, I am writing one statement. Lambda power k equal to 1 has lambda power k equal to 1 has distinct distinct roots distinct roots so here lambda power k equal to 1 has distinct roots sir how can you say that lambda power k equal to 1 has distinct roots simple logic I will tell you here if if a is if a is a root of if a is a root if instead of a you can write x if x is a root if x is a multiple root suppose x is a multiple root if x is a multiple root multiple root means repeated root if it is if it is a root of its derivative If x is a multiple root, definitely x will be root of its derivative also. But in our problem, in our problem, lambda power k equal to 1 means, suppose if you take your function is lambda power k minus 1. If you calculate f dash, first derivative, you are getting k into lambda power k minus 1. Catch my point? Here, if your function is lambda power k minus 1, its derivative is k into lambda power k minus 1. If you look at f dash, so for f dash, for f dash, 0 is the root. 0 is the only root. F dash has 0 is the only root. Now verify whether 
whether this 0 is root of your function or not you verify is 0 is the root of your function lambda power k minus 1 if you put 0 in the place of lambda are you getting 0 no no but so you can write here the the derivative of f f dash f dash has a root 0 lambda equal to 0 is a root 0 is the only root because f dash when you equate f dash to 0 lambda power k minus 1 equal to 0 lambda 0 0 0 k minus 1 times it is a repeated root so 0 is the root of f dash but but 0 is not a root of 0 is not a root of f what is f lambda power k minus 1 understood uh, therefore therefore here 0 is the root of f dash but 0 is not a root of f therefore you can say that your function x power k minus 1 or lambda power k minus 1 lambda power k minus 1 or lambda power k equal to 1 has distinct roots distinct roots understood so if you are if you are equation lambda power k minus 1 equal to 0 has distinct roots all your eigenvalues are distinct if your all eigenvalues are distinct your minimal polynomial has distinct roots your characteristic polynomial has distinct roots so lambda power k equal to 1 has distinct roots therefore its minimal polynomial its minimal polynomial has distinct roots if its minimal polynomial has distinct root distinct linear factors 100% your matrix is diagonalizable therefore matrix A is diagonalizable suppose your matrix is n cross n if your matrix is 10 cross 10, if you have 10 distinct eigenvalues, definitely for every distinct eigenvalue, there will be one distinct linearly independent eigenvector. Therefore, your matrix is diagonalizable. So, first option is correct. Next, I am going to analyze next option because it is MSQ. That's why first option is true. Uh, when you come to next option a a square a power k minus 1 equal to 0 this is false sir how can you say that directly this is false observe here a power k equal to i and 1 is not an eigenvalue of a observe given that a power k equal to i and 1 is not an eigenvalue of A. A power k equal to i and 1 is not an eigenvalue of A. If A power k equal to i, lambda power k equal to 1. Lambda power k equal to 1, you can write lambda power k minus 1 equal to 0 lambda power k minus 1 equal to 0 but lambda is not equal to 1 because 1 is not an eigenvalue of a that's why lambda is not 1 one minute observe lambda power k minus 1 equal to 0 can be written as lambda minus 1 into lambda power k minus 1 plus lambda power k minus 2 plus and so on 1 
equal to 0. Here, if lambda is not 1, if lambda is not equal to 1, definitely lambda power k minus 1 plus lambda power k minus 2 plus and so on 1 is compulsory equal to 0. Sir, how can you say that? Simple logic. A multiplied with B, A into B equal to 0, either A is 0 or B is 0. Here A is non-zero because lambda is not 1. If lambda is not 1, lambda minus 1 is not 0. If lambda minus 1 is non-zero, definitely lambda power k minus 1 plus lambda power k minus 2 plus and so on, 1 equal to 0. From this, you can write one statement a power k minus 1 plus a power k minus 2 plus and so on a plus i equal to 0. Understood? Did you understand this statement? From this I have written lambda power k minus 1 plus lambda power k minus 2 plus and so on plus 1 equal to 0. So by Kale Hamilton theorem you can write lambda power a power k minus 1 plus a power k minus 2 plus and so on instead of uh, last term that is i equal to 0. That's why I have written second option is false because here a a square a power k minus 1 is given there is no i that's why it is false. Next third option. I am examining third option. To examine third option, you have to take trace. Trace of a plus b plus c equal to trace of a plus trace of b plus trace of c. That's why you have to take trace here. Trace of a power k minus 1 plus trace of a power k minus 2 plus and so on and so on trace of a plus trace of i equal to 0. One minute. Trace of a power k minus 1 plus trace of a power k minus 2 plus and so on plus trace of a equal to minus trace of i. So here matrix is n cross n. So, identity matrix is also of order n cross n. Identity matrix means all the leading diagonal elements are 1, 1, 1, 1 like that. Therefore, if you calculate trace, trace is nothing but its order. What is its order? n. That's why minus n. So, third option is also correct. Third option is correct. So, first option is correct, third option is also correct, next, fourth option, fourth option, a inverse a power minus 2, a power minus of k minus 1 equal to minus i n, we can get easily from this statement, observe, from this statement, from this statement, we can derive that last option also. How? Observe. Here, in this statement, i plus a plus a power k minus 2 plus a power k minus 1 equal to 0. Okay? Now, multiply this equation on both sides by a power k minus 1 whole inverse a power k minus 1 whole inverse if you multiply this equation on both sides with a power k minus 1 whole inverse you will get first term first term will be i into i into a power k minus 1 whole inverse becomes i into a power 
minus k plus 1. Next, second term. a power 1 minus k plus minus k plus 1. Okay. And so on. a power k minus 2 minus k plus 1 plus a power k minus 1 minus k plus 1 equal to 0. Simplify this. a power minus k plus 1 is a power minus of k minus 1. a power here 1 1 2 minus k that is nothing but minus of k minus 2 and so on. Here k minus k cancel minus 2 plus 1 minus 1 a power minus 1 plus here minus k plus k cancel minus 1 plus 1 cancel that is i equal to 0. Therefore a power minus of k minus 1 a power minus of k minus 1, a power minus of k minus 2 and so on, a inverse equal to minus i. So, that is also correct. So, first option is correct, the second option is incorrect, third option is correct, fourth option is also correct. This is also true. A, C, D. Understood? Next. A and B are similar matrices. If A and B are similar matrices, then first option, determinant value of A equal to determinant of B, trace of A equal to trace of B, characteristic polynomial of A equal to characteristic polynomial of B, Minimal polynomial of A equal to minimal polynomial of B. Uh, this is observe. Given that A and B are similar. What is the meaning of this? If A and B are similar, you can write one statement. Matrix B, there exist a non singular matrix P such that such that. P inverse AP equal to diagonal matrix D. This diagonal matrix D is nothing but consisting of eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2 and so on, lambda n. Sir, what are these eigenvalues? These eigenvalues are nothing but eigenvalues of A. And also, you can understand that since A and B are similar, therefore, eigenvalues of A and eigenvalues of B are equal. So, same eigenvalues lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda n will be the eigenvalues of matrix B also. So, these are the eigenvalues of matrix B. So, here, since A and B are similar, therefore, eigenvalues of A and eigenvalues of B are same. If eigenvalues of A and eigenvalues of B are same means, characteristic polynomial of a and characteristic polynomial of B are same. Determinant of A minus lambda i equal to determinant of B minus lambda i. Understood? If, if characteristic polynomial is same, 
eigen values are same then trace of a is equal to trace of b if eigen values of a and b are same determinant value of a and determinant value of b is also same since characteristic polynomial of a and characteristic polynomial of b are same therefore you can write minimal polynomial of a minimal polynomial is obtained by characteristic polynomial minimal polynomial of a and minimal polynomial of b minimal polynomial of b are same Please explain minimal polynomial. Muhammad Sultan. Sufyan, sorry. Uh, observe. Here, minimal polynomial is nothing but minimal polynomial divides minimal polynomial divides any other polynomial any other polynomial satisfied by matrix a satisfied by the given matrix means minimal polynomial divides the characteristic polynomial simple right uh, now, here, since A and B are similar, therefore, that A equal to that B, that B is true. Trace of A equal to trace of B is true. Characteristic polynomial of A equal to characteristic polynomial of B is true. Minimal polynomial of A equal to minimal polynomial of B is also true. Therefore, correct answers are A, B, C, D. Understood? Uh, next. Next follow. Now, here the matrix is 1, 12, 70, 0, minus 1, 50, 0, 0, minus 1. Then which of the following is true? Which of the following is R true? Now, it is a diagonal matrix. Observe, the matrix is diagonal matrix, a triangular matrix. All the elements below the principal diagonal are 0. If all the elements below the principal diagonal are 0, then eigenvalues are nothing but its leading diagonal elements. 1, minus 1, minus 1 are eigenvalues. Therefore, first option is true, directly visible. Next, algebraic multiplicity of 1 is 1 and algebraic multiplicity of minus 1 is 2. Yes, here eigenvalues are 1, minus 1, minus 1. So, minus 1, minus 1 appeared two times. But 1 appeared only once. That's why algebraic multiplicity of eigenvalue 1 is 1 and that of minus 1 is 2 so second option is also true next second option is also true next third option the geometric multiplicity of 1 is 2 uh, to find to examine third option and fourth option you have to calculate geometric multiplicity to calculate geometric multiplicity, one procedure we have observed. For first eigenvalue 1, I am going to calculate geometric multiplicity. I require a minus lambda i. a minus lambda i equal to here. A 
जो वन माइनस लैमडा ट्वेल्व सेवेंटी नेक्स्ट जीरो माइनस वन माइनस लैमडा फिफ्टी जीरो जीरो माइनस वन माइनस लैमडा नाउ हियर अब जो फर्स्ट आइगन वैल्यू वन corresponding to lambda equal to 1 consider a minus 1 i put lambda equal to 1 1 minus 1 0 12 70 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 50 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 now apply you have to calculate rank here it is not in echelon form that's why i am going to apply the operation 6 r2 minus plus r1 now 0 12 70 0 0 300 plus 70 370 next 0 0 minus 2 Next, apply the operation 185R3 plus R2, then you will get 0, 12, 70, 0, 0, 370, 0, 0, 0. Here, you can write rank of rank of a minus 1 i is 2 number of variables equal to number of columns 3 so geometric multiplicity is given by total number of variables minus rank of a minus lambda i so here total number of variables are 3 rank of a minus lambda I is 2 therefore 1 therefore geometric multiplicity of geometric multiplicity of eigen value 1 is geometric multiplicity of eigen value 1 is 1 next we have to find out geometric multiplicity of eigen value minus 1 now consider for lambda equal to minus 1 consider a minus of minus 1 into i In the place of lambda, substitute minus 1. 1 minus of minus 1, 2. 12, 70. Next. 0. Minus 1. Minus of minus 1, 0. 0, 0, 50. Next one. 0, 0, 50. Next, 0, 0, 0. And now, here, rank. Rank of A minus lambda i. Uh, A minus of minus 1 i. 2. Number of variables equal to number of columns. Number of variables equal to 3. Therefore, geometric multiplicity is 3 minus 2, 1. So, here, geometric multiplicity of eigenvalue minus 1 is 1. Geometric multiplicity of eigenvalue 1 is also 1. Therefore, which option is correct? Geometric multiplicity of eigenvalue 1 is 2 is incorrect. This is false. This is true. So, first option is true. Second option is true.
ఫస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ ఈజ్ ట్రూ సెకండ్ ఆప్షన్ ఈజ్ ట్రూ లాస్ట్ ఆప్షన్ ఈజ్ ట్రూ ఓన్లీ థర్డ్ ఆప్షన్ ఈజ్ ఇన్ కరెక్ట్ ఇన్ దిస్ ప్రాబ్లం నెక్స్ట్ ఫాలో లెట్ టీబి ఎన్ క్రాస్ ఎన్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ విత్ ద ప్రాపర్టీ దాట్ టీ పవర్ ఎన్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో b n cross n matrix with the property that t power n equal to 0 then which of the following is or true so here just by observation you can say t power n equal to 0 if you say matrix is t then t power n equal to 0 so t power n equal to 0 has n distinct eigen values is false first statement is false because if t power n equal to 0 characteristic polynomial is x power n equal to 0 given that t power n equal to 0 therefore the characteristic polynomial is or characteristic equation is characteristic equation is lambda power n equal to 0 therefore x equal to 0 0 0 0 like that so 0 is the only eigenvalue so here x has uh, matrix has x equal to 0 is only eigenvalue it is a repeated eigenvalue Therefore, first option is false. Distinct eigenvalues is false. Uh, T has one eigenvalue with multiplicity n. It is true. Because eigenvalues of T are here 0, 0, 0. How many times? n times. n times. Therefore, Therefore, one eigenvalue with multiplicity n is true. Second option is true. Uh, third option, 0 is the only eigenvalue of t. That is also true. 0 is the only eigenvalue of t. That is also true because matrix is nilpotent. T is similar to diagonal matrix. It is false. C is similar to diagonal matrix is false. The reason is, I'll give one counter example. Here, suppose if you take matrix A is 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. What are its eigenvalues? Eigenvalues are 0, 0. These are the eigenvalues. Here, if you calculate eigenvectors corresponding to lambda equal to 0, if you consider a minus lambda i of x equal to 0, a minus 0 i of x equal to 0, it is nothing but a x equal to 0. Means 0, 1, 0, 0 into x1, x2. 0, 0. What is rank here? Rank is 1. Rank of A minus 0 i is 1. Number of variables 2. Therefore, geometric multiplicity is 2 minus 1, 1. So, geometric multiplicity is 1. But algebraic multiplicity, how many times eigenvalue is repeated? Two times. So AM is 2, but GM is 1. AM not equal to GM. If AM not equal to GM, it is not diagonalizable. 
it is not diagonalizable if the matrix is not diagonalizable it is not possible to write the matrix as similar to diagonal matrix so t is similar to diagonal matrix is false so only second option is true third option is true b and c are true the remaining options are incorrect catch my point did you understand next problem it is nilpotent matrix for a nilpotent matrix all its eigen values are zero next one a is 4 cross 4 matrix with real entries and whose eigen values are minus 1 1 2 minus 2 then which of the following are true or b is a power 4 minus 5a square plus 5y then which are correct first what is given given that eigen values of a are 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 now eigen values of a square are 1 square 1 minus 1 whole square 1 2 square is 4 minus 2 whole square is 4 now eigen values of a power 4 are 1 1 16 16 now eigen values of 5a square and 5y one minute eigen values of a power 4 minus 5a square plus 5i r now a power 4 a power 4 means 1 1 16 16 1 minus 5a square minus 5 plus 5y plus 5 comma 1 5a square 5 plus 5 next comma 16 minus 5a square means 5 4 ja 20 plus 5 comma 16 Minus twenty plus five. From this, you can get eigen values of a power four minus five a square plus five y. One here one sixteen plus five twenty one minus twenty one one. So a power four minus five a square plus five y is nothing but b. This is given that b. Therefore, eigen values of b are One 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 one. Now continuation. Eigen values of A are one minus one two minus two. Eigen values of B are eigen values of B are one 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 one. Now now. we have to find out a plus b a minus b then determinant of b trace of a plus b so a minus b a plus b one minute therefore eigen values of a minus b are 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 2 plus 1 Minus two plus one. Now two zero three minus one. Therefore, eigen values of a plus b are two zero three minus one. Therefore, trace of a plus b equal to two plus zero plus three minus one. That is. 
5 minus 1, 4. 4. Trace of A plus B is 4. Trace of A plus B is 4. So, last option is true. Next. Determinant of B is 1. This is also true. Because eigenvalues of B are 1, 1, 1, 1. Therefore, determinant of B is 1. Because determinant is nothing but product of its eigenvalues. Since eigenvalues of B are 1, 1, 1, 1. Therefore, determinant of B equal to 1 multiplied with 1, 1, 4 times, you will get 1. That's why I have selected second option is true. Next, determinant of A plus B, determinant of A plus B, observe, determinant of A plus B equal to product of eigenvalues of A plus B. These are all eigenvalues of A plus B. 1 of the eigenvalue 0. Therefore, product is 0. So, determinant is 0. Determinant of A plus B is 0. That's why first option is also true. Uh, next, trace of A minus B. Trace of A minus B is nothing but trace of A minus trace of B. What is trace of A? Trace of A is 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 2 0 trace of b is trace of b 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 4 now trace of a minus b is 0 minus 4 minus 4 in the problem he has given that trace of a minus b is 0 that is false so correct answer is a b d a, B, D are true. Good evening, Ajit. Next problem. A is N cross N real matrix. A square equal to A. Then eigenvalues of a are eigenvalues of a are either 0 or 1 yes a square equal to a means idempotent matrix here matrix a is idempotent matrix if matrix a is idempotent whose eigenvalues are either 0 or 1 that's why First one is true because matrix is idempotent means a square equal to a whose characteristic equation is x square minus x equal to 0. So x of x minus 1 equal to 0, x equal to 0 comma x equal to 1. Therefore, 0 and 1 are eigenvalues of matrix A. Therefore, first option is true. Next. A is diagonal matrix with diagonal entries are 0 and 1. A is a diagonal matrix with diagonal entries are 0 and 1. That is incorrect. Because without taking diagonal entries 0 and 1 also, you can create an idempotent matrix. Observe here. For example, matrix A is 1, 1, 0, 0. What he said here a diagonal matrix with diagonal entries are 0 and 1. Diagonal entries are 0 and 1. A is not diagonal matrix here. Here I have taken non diagonal matrix. It is not diagonal matrix. Non diagonal matrix I have taken. Diagonal entries I have taken 1 and 0, but it is not diagonal matrix. But if you multiply A with A, you will get 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Multiply, the result is 1 plus 0, 1, 1 plus 0, 1, 0 plus 0, 0, 0 plus 0, 0, A square equal to A. We got an idempotent matrix without taking diagonal matrix. Understood? So, 
here diagonal entries are 0 and 1 but your matrix is not diagonal matrix so this is false next rank of a and trace of a both are equal because because observe if you take this matrix eigen values are if you write characteristic equation it is a diagonal matrix it is a triangular matrix therefore eigen values are 1 and 0 1 and 0 1 and 0 are eigen values now if you calculate for lambda equal to 1 if you calculate eigen vector a minus 1 i of x equal to 0 if you put lambda equal to 1 in a minus lambda i so this is a a minus lambda i means 1 minus lambda 1 0 0 minus lambda if you put lambda equal to 1 here you will get 0 1 0 minus 1 0 1 0 minus 1 x 1 x 2 0 0 here r 2 plus r 1 0 1 0 0 x 1 x 2 0 0 here rank is 1 number of variables 2 geometric multiplicity is 2 minus 1 1 for eigen value 1 geometric multiplicity is 1 am and gm are equal similarly for eigen value 0 am and gm are equal therefore matrix is diagonalizable here matrix is diagonalizable if the matrix is diagonalizable compulsory rank of a and rank of if the matrix is diagonalizable matrix a and diagonal matrix d are similar similar then rank of a and rank of diagonal matrix d and trace of a and trace of diagonal matrix d all are equal that's why trace of a equal to trace of diagonal matrix d that's why rank of a minus i equal to rank of d minus i understood so here this can be written as this can be written as n minus order n minus rank of a that is n minus trace of a that is nothing but trace of i minus a so trace of a minus i rank of a minus i and trace of a minus i both are equal trace of here n means i uh, identity matrix of order n i minus a so rank of a minus i and trace of a minus i both are equal if i take rank of i minus a because i have written n minus rank of a that's why i am writing here instead of a minus i i am writing here i minus a because i have written n minus rank of a that's why i am writing here i minus a now because in the option he has given i minus a here so this option is also true c and d are true so a is true c is true d is true next column here matrix a is 1 1 1 0 
2 cross 2 matrix alpha n and beta n denotes eigen values of a power n then alpha n tends to infinite beta n tends to 0 alpha n is positive when n is even beta n is negative when n is odd so here first you have to find eigen values wow. matrix a is 1 1 1 0 the characteristic equation is determinant of a minus lambda equal to 0 determinant of 1 minus lambda 1 1 0 minus lambda equal to 0 1 minus lambda into minus lambda minus 1 equal to 0 so minus lambda plus lambda square minus 1 equal to 0 so lambda square minus lambda minus 1 equal to 0 from this you can write eigen values lambda equal to 1 plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac so plus 4 by 2 that is 1 plus root 5 by 2 1 minus root 5 by 2 1 plus root 5 by 2 is nothing but 1.618 1 minus root 5 by 2 is nothing but minus 0 0.618. So here, let us say this is alpha, this is alpha, this is beta. So the eigenvalues of A are alpha and beta. Now, Here alpha is greater than 1, beta is less than 0. Okay, uh, now, now, eigenvalues of a power n are alpha power n and beta power n, 1.618 whole power n minus 0 0.618 whole power n so when n tends to infinite when n tends to infinite alpha power n tends to infinite the reason is alpha greater than 1 beta power n tends to 0 the reason is beta is less than 1 less than 0 understood here 1.618 whole power infinite is infinite minus 0 0.618 it is lies between this value lies between mod beta n is less than 1 mod beta n less than 1 it is lies between minus 1 to plus 1 that's why when n tends to infinite beta n tends to 0 okay next alpha value is 1.618 so alpha power n is nothing but 1.618 power n is is positive value when n is even so beta power n what is beta minus 0 0.618 whole power n this is negative when n is odd when n is odd number negative power odd number gives you negative value understood therefore all the options are true in this problem alpha n tends to infinite true beta n tends to 0 is true when alpha power n is positive when n is even is true beta power n is negative when n is odd is true a b c d all the options are correct in this problem next problem 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 if you look at the matrix directly you can understand that 
it is triangular eigen values are nothing but its leading diagonal elements all the eigen values of a are zero that is true next whether it is idempotent or nilpotent we have to calculate by multiplication now i am going to multiply a square equal to 0 1 0 0 multiplied with 0 1 0 0 multiply 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 0 plus 0 0 a square equal to 0 a is non zero therefore a is nil potent matrix a is nil potent matrix it is not idempotent matrix idempotent is false nil potent is true a has zero image is false so b is true d is true correct answer is b and d two options second and fourth next problem yeah matrix a 5 9 8 1 8 2 9 1 0 is inversible and has inverse has all integer entries that a is odd that a is divisible by 13 that a has at least two prime factors so complete problem is designed on that a that's why we have to calculate determinant of a Matrix A is 5, 9, 8, 1, 8, 2, 9, 1, 0. Now that A, 5 of 0 minus 2 minus 9 of 0 minus 18 plus 8 of 1 minus 72 that is minus 10 plus 162 minus 71 into 8 568 that is 568 minus 162 6 uh, 406 400 and 26 minus 10 minus 10 so you will get minus 416 this can be written as 32 into minus 13 that is minus 13 into 2 power 5 minus 13 into 2 power 5 therefore you can conclude that uh, debt a has two prime factors at least two prime factors 13 2 so last option is true at least two prime divisors it is divisible by 13 because one prime factor is 13 Therefore, compulsory debt A is divisible by 13. That is true. Debt A is odd. No, it is not odd number. Minus 416. So, it is even number. So, odd number is false. A is inversible and inverse has all integer entries. That is false. Inversible is okay. But, inverse has all integer entries is false. Because you will get fractions. The reason is that A is, you found that that A is minus 416. If you calculate inverse, definitely it is inversible, but all integers, all entries are not integer entries. Only third option and fourth option are correct in this problem. Yogesh, it is a matrix. When you take image of the matrix by 
ट्रांस रोटेशन इट हैज जीरो इमेजेस नॉट पॉसिबल हियर देयर इज ए नॉन जीरो एंट्री वन हियर सो जीरो इमेज इज नॉट पॉसिबल an academy presents a new subscription plan for 18 months for esc and gate and bar preparation in plus subscription you have dbps weekly monthly tests doubt clearing sessions live and interactive lectures unlimited access by one subscription to get subscription use code kur75 pricing plan 1 month 3 months 6 months and 12 months 18 months and 24 months thank you next lecture will be on 16th thank you